So it's the first morning of the trip, and I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit anxious. Got some butterflies in the stomach, obviously, because I haven't got the bike. The bike's coming to uh, to Lavrio Port today from Cyprus, and the shipping company were a little bit <clears throat> sketchy on the details of when it was going to arrive and the process. And they took all my paperwork, so I don't have any paperwork. I don't. I'm just my mind's all over the place. I don't really know if I'm going to get the bike today. What I need, if they're going to say I need to come back to Athens, it's. You know, not the ideal way to start the trip, but you know, you've got to, you know, this is going to happen a lot, you know, dealing with ports, dealing with customs clearances in, in far off countries. So I have to get used to it quite quickly, I think. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick, a quick sort of intro, I suppose, from the hotel room, just about to kick off now, get my gear, um, get the bus down to Lavrio from Athens. And yeah, hopefully it'll all go okay. Grab the bike, check all the, um, check all the equipment, make sure the transit was okay. And then I've got an Airbnb down in Lavrio tonight so that I can just, you know, have some dinner, chill out, and then get a good, nice early start tomorrow uh, and head south through Greece. So it's um, it's all starting. So this is my first diary cam. going to have to get used to this. So, um, yeah, I'll chat to you guys soon. See you later. I feel better now. I've got the bike. I'm in Lavrio. It's parked outside. I'm in this nice little cottage that I found on Airbnb and I'm ready to go. It's just a massive weight off my shoulders from this morning because I was just really like, I just didn't feel good at all. I didn't know if the bike was gonna arrive, I didn't know where it was, I didn't know what the process was, and you just kind of think, you know, you've been practicing and, and preparing for this trip for nine months, and then the, the absolute protagonist that's everything, you know, all the, the equipment, all the, the helmet and the, the tools and everything, it's all, all on that bike, and I just didn't know where it was, and I couldn't, get in touch with the tracking company I was kind of freaking out because it's like it's day one and I guess it's just all new really so I feel much better now I've had a shower I've chilled out this place is absolutely lovely the lady that owns the place Miranda was super helpful at the port as well so and she gave me a lift as well from the bus station so that was good so yeah I'm a little bit tired a little bit groggy it's been a long long days traveling on the bus for like four hours from Athens but now I've got the bike I've got my all my kit ready to go packed I uh, unfortunately damaged my bag in transit, but it's not, not a big deal. And yeah, just ready to do some riding tomorrow. So, to be honest, a bit emotional today. Obviously, I've said goodbye to my family and my friends. And, you know, I've been, for, for a long time, I've been waiting for this trip. And, like, you know, eager to go, really eager to go, thinking, yeah, yeah, come on, let's go, let's go. And I don't think I quite banked on, on how kind of sad I would be to, to say goodbye to everybody. So, to all of those people that are watching, I miss you very much. And it's only day one. Um, of, of what is now kind of dawning on me as a big trip but at the same time I'm, I'm super excited because it all starts tomorrow and I'll have my first camp and my first ride so I'm, I'm super stoked for, for that so um, yeah stay tuned and, uh, and let's get on with day one I've just pulled out of Lavrio this is literally the first pull away just got out of the village I wasn't recording then because I've just started to ride the bike fully fully loaded with even some extra weight because i bought a massive chain the other day so yeah just wanted to concentrate on getting out of the town but yeah this is it this is the big start so these are literally i'll just re just set the trip computer we just see how much it is uh four miles so i've done four miles of my round the world trip and i'm trusting my sat nav this morning because there was um there was this random power cut today in the village. They were they cut the power off between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. So the you know everyone's kind of making do. But obviously this morning when I wanted to check maps and check GPS, and I was going to do it last night. I just thought, no, I'm a bit knackered. I'll I'll have some dinner and chill. I'll do it in the morning, <laughs> and then I couldn't. So I am trusting the Garmin GPS, which up until now has not been the best. So let's let's hope I get there. But yeah, I'm really excited because. I'm seeing new countries, new places, every kilometer I do, every mile, every meter, every inch will be a new a new adventure and it will be somewhere that I don't know if I'll come again, you know, it's just once in a lifetime. So I've just got back to Athens now and I'm just so like stiff wrist riding like making rookie mistakes dicking around in a gearbox just oh i'm just riding like an absolute rookie because i'm obviously nervous i don't know why i've been on the bike for 
about nine months I've had this bike now. It's absolutely, it's an absolute peach. I love it. I absolutely love the GS. Didn't think I was going to get one, but then I did. It's amazing. But anyway, that's that's a, another video will be the review. I'm just riding like a dick, and I just thought I would let you know because I'm clearly going to have to work on this. Obviously, it's the first day. A little bit nervous. But just yeah, I'm just I'm not I'm back in the city as well, surrounded by cars, four lanes. It's not where I want to be right now, you know. I want to just get out of Athens. I'm, I'm aching to get out of the city. I remember years ago when I decided that this might be something I want to do, and obviously I was watching Long Way Around, and that was a, a huge inspiration. I think a lot of a lot of riders and adventure riders love that show. And I remember that remember that very first episode when you and Charlie are just gagging to get out of London. And you just think, oh, okay, where am I going? Straight or right? Straight or right? 40 meters straight, okay. And they were just gagging to get out of London. I just, I can understand why now. Now, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, is that nav? And right again. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of this because I haven't got separate audio to video. So there's probably going to be a lot of uh, chatting and then, uh, 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 where am I going? Don't know. Don't know where I'm going. Uh, but now I should be on track. I'm at Olympia Gold Stadium. Awesome. I'm going to get out of the city as well now. I just want to get out into the twisties and out into the countryside. Off route. Oh no. No, I did make a mistake. <laughs> oh dear. There's going to be a lot of this. This is like day one, country one, sat nav and lost already. And then adding that to, in fact, what I'll do is now, I'll splice in the footage from Cyprus before I set off where I got lost, in Cyprus, in the country that I was living in, that I've been driving around, you know, for like the last 10 years when I've been going there. And I still managed to get lost, going to the mountains that I've been to almost every weekend with my friends. So yeah, I'm gonna put that footage in now. You'll find that interesting because I've got lost again. So that's two rides and two getting lost. So let's hope um, I make it to India or Australia or the US um, if this is the type of rider I am. But I don't know, it says, it says left, so that should be okay. My arrival time is about, <clears throat> about three minutes later than what it was before. <laughs> so, day one again, still not on the road that I need to be on. The sat-nav, when it said there's tolls on your route, asked me if I'd like to avoid them. So I thought, well, I'm not used to living in a country with tolls, so yeah, why don't you avoid them? Because maybe then, um, save a bit of money, maybe take me on some scenic routes, not on the highway. Um, it certainly decided to take me on a scenic route because it's taken me to the ferry port, <laughs> the ferry terminal. So as you can see, there's some nice boats over there. The sat nav thought that I should get on one of those rather than actually take the road and the bridge. So, uh, <laughs> getting lost number three out of day one, which I think is an incredible statistic. So we'll have to keep score of those. Um, but you know, good and the bad, at least we got to see Piraeus Port in Athens. So I'm going to recalculate. I think I'm going to get myself, um, oh yeah, iced coffee. That looks perfect. I'm going to grab an iced coffee, recalculate, and, <laughs> and see you later. Okay, so GPS recalculated. I've gone into the menus and put avoid ferries. So hopefully that'll be okay. Is this bus going to start? Well, let's get around him and just stopped, had a nice cold coffee and already, day one, Greek hospitality, met some great people. Firstly, the lady behind the, the bar was like, oh, you're riding that bike, you must be really hot. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty hot. So she goes, oh, here's a, here's a free water, you know, just to, to keep you hydrated. I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then put my helmet on the side and there was these two guys kind of sort of looking at me, looking at the bike. And they were like, oh yeah, we're bikers as well. Make sure you keep your helmet nearby because it can be a little bit dodgy around the port here. And then we got chatting and they were telling me how they work for this electronics company and how they're going around the world and different countries. And I told them about my trip and they were, you know, really nice and sort of wished me well. And that's, that's the whole point of this trip. I mean, I hope you guys have had a chance to go on sprocketsquare.com and check out why I'm doing this. Um, but if not, I guess what a perfect opportunity to explain why. You know, this is this is what the trip is about. It is motorcycles bring out the good in people, in well, in the good people. Obviously, I'm not sure about the bad ones yet, but by and large, 
motorcycling people they realize that you're a bit vulnerable and they realize that you know sometimes you need a little bit of help and and everyone just seems to be really super nice and, and really kind I'm a bit too far past the lights here and and that's what this journey is about it's about going around the world it's about riding my bike meeting people from all different walks of life and and hopefully bringing out the best in everyone and meeting some great people and showing that all the rubbish and the crap that's going on right now with politics and with racism and intolerance and 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 all of the the turbulence that society is dealing with now across the world it's just what is the point there's no time there is no time with there's no resource not enough resource to bother with with hate and intolerance i mean it's just such a waste of time and you know usually it's the pursuit of money and i understand that and if i wasn't working in corporate for however many years i was doing so i wouldn't have been able to afford this trip so i'm not going to be naive about it and say oh yeah don't chase a dollar all the time because how else would i have been able to buy this bike and and, and afford this trip so i get it but what i'm saying is that can't be the be all and end all it can't be your prime reason for doing stuff because you're just going to end up on on a very crazy path that is going to make you do things that that you know as i did things that were just a little bit questionable and i just think i was watching um i was watching i think it was independence day the, the latest independence day the sequel and it was saying about how oh, there was there was a, a line from the film about um when the aliens came and then everyone just kind of put aside their differences because they realized that you know we're a species and that we all need to club together against the aliens why do we need to wait for aliens to come in order to learn that lesson why can't we just do that now why can't we turn around and say irrespective of race religion politics and all that rubbish we can just just club together now and help each other out and i, I don't understand why there needs to be a catastrophic world event for that to happen um, I, I'm not saying I want this perfect world or I expect that this project will in any way relate or, or, or result in this perfect world and uh, all peace and all encompassing I'm not I'm not that naive but I've got to I've got to do my bit haven't I I've got to say with the time that I'm going to be spending on my bike around the world I want to be doing some good and that's what I want to try and do with this trip I want to raise some money for charity I want to meet some great people I want to combine travel and philanthropy and art and all these different things that are hopefully positive pursuits and and that's what I want the trip to be so that's kind of the reason um, that you know I hope some of you can understand and not think I'm too crazy Let's move over a bit here because there's some guy behind me um, and so where are we going? Well, we're going to go around Greece for a couple of weeks and then we're going to head into Bulgaria, then into Serbia, Hungary, Romania and then I'm going to spend some time in Romania because my best friend is getting married and I'm going to be best man at his wedding so that's going to be super fun and then there's also the Electric Castle Festival which I'm really, really excited about. Loads of great artists there and I'm hoping that I can meet some of the Hospital Records DJs who are going to be playing there. Hospital Records are really kind enough to allow me to use the music um, one of the logistic songs for my trailer so I hope you like that so thanks again massive shout out to Hospital Records for their their kindness with that um, and then after Romania we're gonna head back down into Bulgaria and get the boat over to Georgia travel into Azerbaijan then get the boat across the Black Sea uh, sorry no already got the, the boat across the Black Sea to Georgia then across the Caspian Sea to I'm really hoping Turkmenistan that is going to be absolutely amazing we're going to go to the gates of hell um, which uh, you should check that out on uh, on the internet do some research the gates of hell um, in the middle of the desert it's this huge methane gas crater that's been burning since I think like the late 70s or something um, which is just super super cool I can't wait to see that then head south into Iran down to the UAE Amman and then across into India gonna hopefully land in Mumbai safely and then go across India up towards Bhutan Bangladesh oh got a left turn coming up here you know what I'm like we're getting lost today so sorry for the pause uh, it's over here yeah it's over here um, yeah so Bhutan Bangladesh then into Myanmar south 
through to Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. Then we're going to ship the bike over to Perth, across Australia, Perth to Sydney, then Sydney to LA, zigzag through the US for ages and have loads of cool food and do some awesome things in the USA and see some friends, that's going to be epic. And then Canada, never been to Canada, loads of friends who live in Canada, who are from Canada, and I've always promised that I would go and I never had the chance, so now I'm going to go to Canada. And then we'll see where it goes. I mean, that, that I think is going to take about a year, about a year and a half, I would say, to do this trip. So this YouTube channel is hopefully going to be around for a while. Um, so I really hope you guys subscribe and you enjoy it. And then we'll see where we go. We'll see what this trip turns into and whether we've still got the money to, I keep saying we, I mean, on my own, so, but I say we because there's been so much support from the charities, there's been support from my friends and family, sort of moral support and helping with equipment. So even though I am riding solo, I don't feel like I'm on my own. I feel the love and the, the support of everyone that's been with me on this trip so far. Thank you. And uh, yeah we'll see how it goes and then maybe South America maybe we'll go all the way down to South America and then we'll cross over to South Africa and then go through Africa I don't know basically I've quit my job I've sold all my things I have this bike and the gear that's on the back of it my tent and all my stuff and this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next year and a half I'm gonna be riding I'm gonna be vlogging raising money for charity spreading good vibes and um, I'm basically saying that that is, in my opinion, a positive pursuit. It's it's about enjoying life. It's it's about all those things. So, yeah, sorry for rambling, but I guess there's a lot to get through on the first day because you guys have probably got to this vlog and thought, ah, oh, it's just another vlog guy on a bike. Um, you know, why why should I be watching this? Well, I'm hoping it'll be both entertaining, both inspiring. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of a lot of hard days, and there's going to be some absolutely amazing days. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy it. So now I'm gonna get out of Athens and make my way down to Napoleon and get in the sea. Not in the way that that Facebook group says get in the sea in a bad way, I mean in a good way. Get in the sea, spend some time on the beach and cool off because it is roasting, absolutely roasting today. So um, I'm gonna stick some tunes on and off we go. Now that is what I was hoping for today. Beautiful horizon, blue sky, easy road, smooth. And this is the start of just coming off the highway now down towards Nafplio. And the campsite that I'm going to is a bit further past Nafplio, but unfortunately the satnav doesn't have the name of it. So I'm just gonna stop off in Nafplio. Um, to, yeah, turn it right here. So I'm going to have to stop off and um, and see if I can see where it is. But this is just already what I was hoping for. In case you're wondering, yes, I did take another wrong road. <laughs> it doesn't look like a main road to me either. But it is along the way. It will get me there. Because I've abandoned GPS now and I'm just using it as kind of I looked on my phone and used some 4G which probably cost me about 700 euros to check where I was on the map because I'm as you go and uh, yeah I'm just kind of following the names of you know where I need to be trail of breadcrumbs to the campsite so we're on this little windy track we'll get there don't worry we shall get there. And I just saw a massive snake, literally the size of a French stick. Um, I mean the loaf of bread, not French man's um, I will try and keep the channel clean as much as I can. This is a family channel. I'll try not to say too much. Oof, pothole thit hair. And um, yeah, I need to get back to that gear shunt. to wake up to. 
This is uh, the first morning after the camp, uh, first night in the camp. I didn't take a diary cam last night because um, I left half the stuff on the bike and half the stuff in the tent and I was already in there and in my sleeping bag so I've got to do that, so sorry about that. I'll, uh, I'll have to remember in the future. But yeah, it's a good night. Slept a little bit, it was a bit strange sleeping in a tent for you know, the first time in a while so a little bit of an achy arm and achy, achy back but um, no, it was all good otherwise. So we're in Nuffbilon now in this lovely campsite called the New Triton Campsite and Mr George and Mrs Sophia, they're really nice, so that's good. And yeah, just a quiet, quiet little morning, just kind of first first camp day, having a cheeky coffee, looking at these beautiful mountains, I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, it's just really good, feel good. It's a little bit quiet, it's, you know, being so kind of being surrounded by so many people like family and and you know working on all the trip build up and stuff like that to them being you know completely alone it's um you know it's it's not bad but it's, it's certainly different it's certainly going to take some getting used to i'm sure i'm going to meet people along the way um and maybe meet some other bikers i don't know if there's any other bikers out there who um want to join uh, a few legs of a of a crazy trip but yeah, it's just nice, just enjoying the peace and quiet. I'm going to chill here for the day. I'm not going to, you know, pack up camp and get off straight away. There's, there's no rush. There's nowhere to be. Um, just going to enjoy a day by the beach, sleep here again tonight, and then head off further south down the coast. Um, going to go to Tripoli. Going to go to Sparta, uh, and then the south coast, and then see where I go. Maybe turn left. Maybe turn right. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes.